trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv well hello there it's palm mash tv time again thank you so much for joining us we got another interview coming up for you momentarily but uh, if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit that the subscribe button and the bell. And anytime a new interview comes your way, you'll be notified. And uh, check out the comment section and leave us a comment of your own if you'd like. And uh, you can go to facebook.com forward slash Mash TV. And you can uh, follow us there. Send us an inbox, comment on the things you see there. And uh, we'd love to hear from you on email. It's uh, palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And uh, you can send us an email if you're a band or a solo artist that's interested in being on the show. We'll show you how to do that. But we love fan mail as well. So if you're just simply a fan, send us a fan letter and we'll get back to you. And all this will be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. For the fifth time on our show, we have Andrew Saltz today. And he's from Cleveland, uh, North Carolina. And... Um, I know you're going to enjoy the new song that's coming up from him, and he's going to be updating us on things. So, without further ado, let's start the show, and it starts right now. All right, everybody, interview time is promised, and here we are with the fifth time on our show. We have Andrew Saltz from Cleveland, North Carolina. Thanks for coming back, Andrew. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. We enjoy having you back. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about what's been going on with you since last time. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of things that have been going on. Yeah, man, so much has happened, and uh, so the old uh, the old band, Salty Dog, uh, is now Jam, so we're formerly known as Salty Dog. I got married, I got a new uh, uh, single out with the with the new lineup, and um, yeah, so it's uh, it's uh, pretty nice, man. <laughs> a lot has happened, but uh, a lot of different things uh, have kind of changed for the better, too, so... Oh, okay. And uh, what did you say? The name of the band is now called Jam, did you say? Jam, yeah. So oh. it's uh, J-A-M. Um, we can kind of all put our initials into the name. So we named it Jam. And uh, it's kind of uh, still an indigenous uh, rock band, but uh, definitely get one a little bit heavier now. Mm. Okay. Well, everybody get out there and check that out. And... Um... Uh, why don't why don't you tell us a little bit about um, you know any kind of concerts or any gigs you got going on that you want to talk about if there is any? Yeah, so we're kind of uh, we've kind of been on a little bit of a hiatus because of the new single, the debut single, and um, we haven't really been doing much um, in the last probably half a month or so, just because we've been working in the studio uh, really tirelessly. But uh, the next show is going to be New Year's, of course. Um, we always have like a big New Year celebration at uh, my drummer's work. He has a uh, really good gig there that we we do pretty much annually now. So um, we have kind of a, a residency there that we uh, are always invited back to uh, to rock out. And uh, it's in actually uh, Belmont, North Carolina. So not too far from where I'm at, mm -hmm. but uh, we're kind of all scattered around. Uh, the Charlotte area. And, uh, we got a, you know, we got a big new year celebration and then we have really, it's going to be next year is where we're really going to pick up some track and, uh, uh, really start going at a speed that we, we've really never been, um, traveling at. I mean, I mean, it's really kind of picking up for us a lot since, um, of course, hopefully it'll pick up even more with this new song, but, uh, Ever since we even started recording the song, it's been picking up. And we have a, a booking agency now working with us. So um, things are looking really good. Okay. Why don't you tell everybody specifically where you'll be and what the dates are again so everybody can have time to write that down? Yeah. So uh, the next show that we have on the books is going to be uh, New Year's Eve at Jekyll and Hyde. Um, probably going to cram things up around like 10 o'clock and we're going to go through the, the ball drop and all of that, uh, and go pretty late. Um, so that's going to be in uh, Belmont, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, everybody write that down and see if you can check out uh, Jam, uh, formerly known as Salty Bok Dog. And uh, I know they would love you to see you there. And we, you can oh, still yeah, get absolutely, all, man. You can still all get your stuff on uh, all the streaming platforms, right? Like uh, iTunes and, well, I guess it's called Apple now, but. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah, so we actually, we vaulted all the old Salty Dog music and we're kind of uh, combing through it and seeing what we can do to kind of bring that to what we're doing now. Um, and, you know, it's it's still pretty much the same lineup as Salty Dog, but we've got um, some new members and um, a lot of uh, different ideas that we've always had as a band, but we've never really been able to kind of bring to life because of certain members. So we're, we're definitely starting kind of over. Um, and uh, so we vaulted all of the old music, but all of the new music to come, like the new single had just dropped. Um, it's, it's out everywhere. So yeah, you can find it on um, Apple music, uh, Spotify, all of that. Okay, well, check out uh, most of those major streaming platforms, and uh, you're going to find uh, Jam and Salty Dog on there, too, I assume. And uh, and I know they would love you for that. And um, I guess we're getting ready to watch this music video for you. It's called uh, Lights Out. I think you mentioned that a moment ago. Um, what's the story behind this song? We would love to hear it. Yeah, so they're definitely, you know, you probably have realized this. You've probably picked up on this, uh, Paul. I mean, I've never, <laughs> I've never really had... Um, a tendency to drop a lot of music videos with my music. But now that we have the band uh, the way that we really have always wanted it to be, and we kind of have this indigenous front going on, um, we really wanted to kind of tell a story with this song. And um, originally it was just going to be a song about kind of like, you know, just a, a breakup or a heartbreak. And then I was, um, I've actually been kind of, uh, having a lot of more downtime after the studio. Cause I don't have any shows going on. I've been watching the show Alaska daily and um, it's about this reporter that goes out to Alaska from New York. She gets relocated and um, has started working for them up there in uh, like a newspaper or, or some kind of news studio. Um, but she's reporting on like the, uh, the thousands of cases every year of uh, missing and murdered indigenous women. And so I've been watching this and I, I kind of was like, man, that's something that's, that's obviously really uh, a very threatening problem for indigenous communities, but um, it's just an ever growing issue. And um, I've always, I've always known about it, but I've never really been able to kind of bring it to any kind of surface with my music because I've never really, known how to write about something like that. So I was like, well, why don't we just kind of spin this song um, to kind of bring some sort of awareness or attention to that. And uh, I, I told that to the guys and they were like, yeah, let's, let's do it. And um, so we, uh, we definitely have a song here that it speaks of any kind of, and I usually don't give the interpretation away of what I wrote the song about, but, um, it's definitely something that could be, you know, about a heartbreak or it could even be something as serious as, um, you know, like what we're trying to do with the song. And um, uh, it could be about, you know, the missing indigenous women. And um, so we've we've actually started um, really focusing and honing in on that. And we've started donating some money from our proceeds to a lot of the uh, indigenous organizations that are fighting this. Um, so the music video is kind of just a, a montage and some of the footage we shot, some of the footage we didn't shoot and we, uh, have kind of gotten it for fair usage. And, um, it's a lot of footage from, um, whether it be like Pine Ridge or Alaska or even Canada. Um, I mean, it's an issue that kind of is plaguing Canada and the United States. So, um, it's definitely uh, a lot going on in the video, but um, it just shows a lot of statistics and different things um, regarding that. So it's a really beautiful video, but it was a, a very uh, emotional video to make for sure. But yeah, we hope everybody enjoys it, man.
yeah, and and it is a great song, and um, and every every song you bring to the table is really good, obviously. And uh, thank you, man. I really, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And I know everybody out there will love it too. So, um, uh, well, and we're going to get to that in just a second. But uh, thanks again, uh, uh, Andrew, for coming back on the show. Um, and uh, thank as you, always, man. As always, you're always welcome to come back anytime. So, <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Yeah, so glad to be here. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, let's get right to the light sound song by Andrew, and it starts right now. Oh, oh, oh. 